A third, sorry, a fourth type of sampling method is called stratified sampling. And this is where you divide the population into groups by some certain characteristic, and then you take a random sample from each group. So for example, let's say that you want to study the average gas mileage for cars. So it might be easier to divide cars up by type, such as SUV, sports car, and economy car. And then you would take a sample from each car type. What this does is you've got randomness within your sample, but you also know that you know you didn't accidentally randomly get all you know uh, economy cars that probably get good gas mileage. You've got a good sampling of cars. Now that requires you to divide up the cars and find all the types. So a fifth method of sampling would be cluster sampling. It starts off looking the same way. You still divide the population into groups, but here you would then select all of the items from a few of the groups, but not all of the groups. So consider this example below. If you were checking if people left their car lights on when they drive to school on a rainy day, what you could do is divide the campus into parking lots. So there's my division. And then what I would do is I would check all of the cars in four of the 10 parking lots. So what's nice here is I don't have to go to all 10 parking lots, but hopefully I'm still getting a pretty random sample. Whereas if I had used this method with the cars to find gas mileage, if I just took all sports cars and all SUVs, it would give me the average gas mileage, but just for those cars, it probably gets some of the least good, I don't know what we're doing with their types of gas mileage. And it's not a new method, but be sure to understand the difference between stratified and cluster because people really get those two confused. The important thing is both divide the population into multiple groups. You need at least, you know, two or more groups. And, you know, it's what you take from those groups. So imagine that if I was to divide our class into rows, I would be performing a stratified sample if I took four people from each row. Now I'm assuming there's more than four people per row, but I'm taking a subset from every single row. But instead, had I taken all the people from just three of the rows, I'm assuming there were seven rows, then this is a cluster sample. So just kind of making sure you get the difference between those. And then another way of using those five methods is called multi-stage sampling. And what this does is incorporates more than one design within itself. So for example, like if I was doing the stratified sample above where I took four people from each row, if I took the first four people in each row, that's probably a little bit of convenient sample. I don't have to go very far to get their information or you know, I'm randomly gonna select it. Um, so there's different ways to see them combined.